Max, though, who used to be a resident Lucario, I'm not sure what happened, but now he's going um, Villager, and Foe's playing Villager as well, because Foe can Foe. I just got a Villager ditto hype, taking notes. Killager versus uh, Penelope. Penelope. The Pillager. The Pillager. All right, I see we got some... Um, some slingshots going on. Uh, Foe tends to go with the vanilla villager, which we don't see too often um, anymore with the uh, counter sprout being abundant in play now. Oh, yeah. He does I, very that, well. Oh, never mind. You're wrong. That up B is definitely a custom. Yeah, that thing is extremely dangerous, the uh, explosive balloon. But yeah, if you pop both balloons like that, Villager becomes extremely vun vulnerable. Vulnerable. What is English? Oh, oh disgusting shit. bowling ball. Wonder what size that is. That's at least a 15. I, I was gonna say 16 actually, but yeah, I mean it's hard to tell. Yeah, um, folks pretty much just reading uh, everything Exo does. Exo, I believe he's trying to set up camp, but uh, Foe's already in the camp. Honestly, I don't understand that. When he puts up the tree and then uses the gyro, maybe it's supposed to be a little more forward out, but it keeps just blowing up on the tree. Um, I have no idea the use for that. Um, I believe it's just putting the extra hitbox out there, or he could be trying to put the gyro out a little bit in front of the uh, tree so he could easily uh, get through that. Quite possibly. All right, nice off-air, or off-stage game. Uh, Folk opting to go under the stage and then pops up with the uh, forward air. And there's Exo with the double Lloyd twins. Yeah, Folk really likes this tree. Oh, yeah. Just puts it up and starts swinging away. He's trying to disrespect. Look at that. That was disgusting. I nice down B uh, axe kill by Folk. Um, I'm wondering if Exo is going to stick with the uh, Killager or if he's going to go to one of his other characters. Who knows? I fucking love seeing it when Villager wins and he pulls out the fossil. Oh, it's yes, like, yes. It's just like, I found this fossil. It reminds oh. me of you because you're both <laughs> dead. <laughs> Beautiful. I love it. Oh, okay, shit. so we have Foe going, going up. Mewtwo. Mewtwo. All right. The uh, cano canonical, canonical is that a word? The I canon um, clone of Smash. See what he can do with this. Um, we don't really have too many people playing Mewtwo in Vegas. Uh, I actually thought I'd start up with some, and I quit immediately because I got lazy. Wow. I mean, uh, it, it wasn't exactly a bad decision. He's kind of a bad character. He's got like good damage and stuff. He's a but glass he's cannon. Really, exactly. He's a big hitbox, and he's extremely light. One he of the is, lightest what, the characters. second lightest, I believe? Yeah, I think second to Jigs. Uh, how are you lighter than uh, Game & Watch? He's 2D. <laughs> he's literally a piece of paper. It really hurts my feelings. <laughs> All right, so what Foe can do with uh, Confusion, though, is he can stuff half of Villager's attacks if he wants to. I really want to see him use Confusion on the uh, bowling ball because that just bounces it right back into Villager's face. If and it's he actually does that, it's most likely... Look, it's going to kill him. Depending on how low he does it, it will kill him. At this present right here, I believe it may just kill him uh, point blank right in the face. Oh. It's actually not as strong as you would think on stage. It actually does a lot more damage to knock back the farther it falls. Ah, yes, so People yes. just think it does a lot more on stage, but when it really doesn't. They always get hit after it's um, fallen about three or four stories, so you can tell how that happens. <laughs> like that, like that, right what almost there, happened. That would have been a great time, except he was just a little too low. Would have been dangerous. All right, here we go. Foe has the uh, Shadow Ball. Completely charged up through it. And Villager's... That hard to read. That was a nice uh, down air. Villager almost had his uh, shield broken by the... Uh, shadow Ball. By, yeah, by the Shadow Ball. See what um, Foe's going to do. Mewtwo is great with the uh, spacing, so Foe's going to want to use more of the tail. Oh, yeah. And there's the Boom Boom, and he still comes back, just kind of grinding the edge. Extremely seductive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, back throw? Yep. He's not, not exactly Ness. No. Poor Psychic, man. 
Oh, the disgusting down air. If only we were playing Smash Bros. Yellow. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Wrong. He snipes him with the uh, Shadow Ball with uh, while Villager was vulnerable from using the explosion of his uh, explosive balloons. See, uh, Foe was trying to go for the uh, jab cancel to... Well, what he did right there, jab cancel to um, down tilt to forward air. So yeah, Mewtwo can have some extremely good combos. This tail puts you at an interesting place. All right, here it comes. And nice grab. Adjustment. That is beautiful. Exo just like opted to take the baby ball. He was oh, that was, dirty down air. That was disgusting. Mewtwo has dirty feet too. Straight up surprise, motherfucker. He is Pokemon number 150. Um, Two, I believe. 150. No. Mew's 151, 150. for some reason, even though Mewtwo was created oh, I recently. Mew was 150. 151 is Mew. Oh. It makes no sense. It really doesn't. But yeah, that was a disgusting down air. It was great. Um,